Today, we're doing a speed ramping masterclass on CapCut PC. So stay glued because this video is going to be very detailed. The first example is a slow motion speed ramp, where we go from normal speed to a smooth slow motion to accentuate the action. To recreate this slow motion effect, your video must have been filmed at a frame rate much higher than your timeline's frame rate. In my case, my clip was filmed at 100 frames per second, while my timeline is set to 30 frames per second, meaning I can safely slow down my clip to around 0.3 and still get a smooth playback. How did I get that figure? Simply divide the frame rate of your timeline by the frame rate of your video. Therefore, if I have a video filmed at 60 FPS, I can slow it down to 0.5 on a 30 FPS timeline and still get a smooth playback. You can check your timeline's frame rate by clicking on Custom, Custom. Under Frame Rate, you'll see a bunch of options to choose from. I'll leave mine at 30 FPS. Do not worry, even if your clip wasn't filmed at a very high frame rate, I'll show you a way around it. Now, let's recreate the slow motion speed ramp effect. I'll start by dragging my clip onto my timeline, keep it selected, and then click on Speed, then Curves. You have some nice presets here, which you can try out on your video to see how they look. For this tutorial, we'll go with custom to give us more control. These three icons right here indicate speed points. CapCut already has a speed point around that action. You can click, hold and drag to move a speed point. You want to adjust the first speed point to match with the beginning of your action. Uh, for me, the beginning of my action is when he jumps. The last action would be when the ball goes into the hoop. You can click hold and drag to the left or right to adjust the position of the speed points. After adjusting the position of your speed points, go ahead and drag this middle speed point downward. As you drag it downward on the clip, you can see how much speed you have. So we're targeting 0.3. Now we can replay this to see how good the speed ramp is. Before I forget, I promise to show you how to make your slow motion smoother even if you have a video that wasn't shot at a high frame rate. Here's how to do it. After creating your slow motion effect, check this box right here that says smooth slow mo. Click on this arrow right here and select optical flow for a smoother result. Before we proceed, giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel would mean the world to me. Now let's recreate the fast forward speed ramping effect for this drone footage. Again, let's drag the clip onto the timeline, leave it selected, then click on speed. Under curves, you could as well choose any of the presets, but again, we'll be using custom to give us more control. Because this clip is longer, I will work with four speed points. So I'll just create another speed point right after this one. You want to keep a bit of distance to make it better. Thereafter, click on this plus button right here to create another speed point. You can as well remove a speed point by clicking on it. So let's click on the plus, add the speed point. Now, move the playhead back to where you want the action to start. Click, hold, and drag the second speed point upward this time. Then go to the part where you want the speed ramp to end. Drag the first speed point upward to match with the one before it. There you have it. Thanks for watching. See you around.